It's a rare treat for me on Unleash the Ghouls to cover silent horror movies, so today I want to rectify that by exploring some very dark depths of the nightmare fuel wells. When it comes to silent horror movies, the most well-known and commonly referenced are Nosferatu, The Phantom of the Opera, and considered to be the first feature-length horror film, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. However, there are plenty other notable grits from this era that I love, such as Faust and The Golem. Although Although someday I'd love to cover all those films, today I want to go a little off the beaten track and cover a film that has a large cult following but absolutely deserves more credit as one of the greatest horrors of the 20s. It's a little Swedish movie from 1922 named Hexan, or to give it its full US title, Witchcraft Through the Ages. That's right, Hexan is the Swedish word for the witch, and that's exactly what Benjamin Christensen set out to explore. You see, the deal with Hexan is that unlike the other movies I mentioned earlier, it hasn't been fully created as a work of fiction. It is partly a documentary containing dramatised sequences to amplify the themes and topics of discussion. Those themes surround witchcraft of course, stemming from the Middle Ages and working through the history of superstitions surrounding witchcraft right through to the 20th century. Christensen had already studied the Malleus Maleficarum, translated as the Hammer of Witches, which is arguably the most famous treat written on witchcraft by German Catholic clergyman Heinrich Kramer. So when Christensen set out to make Hexan, he took all his knowledge of the Malleus Maleficarum with him to create what was contextually the most expensive Scandinavian film ever made. Now, silent movies to me have always had a mystical quality, as they are time portals to long in the past. Being able to look at the world over a century ago will never stop being remarkable to me. But more than that, you get to see the imaginations of filmmakers from over a century ago, and that's where the real magic happens. Simultaneously, due to the infancy of filmmaking, it makes silent horror films possess a real dreamlike aura. There's a real haziness to them that is akin to having wild nightmares, and I honestly believe that no other silent horror film possesses the sheer volume of this nightmarish images than Hexan. The subject matter is a real kicker. Witchcraft has become an increasingly debunked and debated concept nowadays, especially in the era of technological advancement and medical advancements. However, we are able to watch Hexan as a time capsule of an era where witchcraft was much more widely believed, at least in the older generations, and depicts hundreds of years of witchcraft through the ages, as the title suggests. That means that there is a real rawness to the visuals here. You could almost believe that what you were witnessing is authentic, and it wouldn't surprise me if this film was a major influence on Robert Eggers when he crafted his witch movie. Let's sink our teeth in a little deeper, shall we? So, the narrative of structure of Hexan is it takes place in numerous chunks. There are seven parts to the film, with part one, two, three to five, and six to seven having their own distinct themes and time settings. The overall goal of Hexan for Christensen was to try and explain and add meaning to witchcraft being the result of mysticism and mass hysteria, with witch hunts spawning from misunderstandings of mental illness and neurological disorders. In effect, Christensen aims down the path of witchcraft isn't real. There are psychological conditions that can justify its existence. And when it comes to the fact that belief in witchcraft is almost as old as mankind itself, then the primitive lack of understanding on the subject of psychology meant that such activities and superstitions would automatically fall under the umbrella of the occult. Now, as a thesis statement, this is incredibly interesting. But the way Christensen goes about visually depicting witchcraft in this movie is where all the nightmare fuel springs from, like a well. Most of the film features human characters talking amongst each other, mostly witches or people affected by the impact of witchcraft. But fear not, as when the horror imagery comes around, it's unforgettable. Everything is so unsettling. Christensen shows real drawings of hell-like images, devils, demons and witches, while discussing dark historical facts about how suspected witches were treated. That of course means we are presented with images of torture, abuse and indeed burning, which is the final shot of the film. However, the more iconic iconic and frightening images from Hexan come from Christensen's special effects and costumes. The film has a lot of giant animal costumes which are supremely freaky. I don't know why, but for me, animal costumes like this that are kinda representative of the animal, but are also cheap looking, makes them more disturbing somehow. Kinda like the bear scene from The Shining, or all of Pipkins. Though the animals here have very little impact on the story, the sheer look of them is one that invokes a true level of fright. 
right. Other areas of scary imagery come from an early use of stop frame animation, which hugely fascinated me as a great fan of that animation style. As well, we get some visually impressive scenes of flying witches, we get some horrible prosthetic monsters that look like demons, and we even go as deep as having newborn unchristened babies cooked in cauldrons. <laughs> Yeah, you heard me. Even Christensen gets in on the act playing the devil himself in one of the most creepy depictions of Satan ever seen on film. It's remarkable what Hakesan did for a 1922 movie. In fact, the horrific imagery, shocking themes and level of nudity, though perhaps tame for modern audiences, was enough at the time to warrant the film being censored in many countries. However, due to its documentary style and impressive techniques used, but blended with very wild topics and visuals, Hexan warranted a mixed reaction amongst critics at the time. However, the film is retrospectively viewed as a masterwork of the era, listed by Steven Schneider as one of the 1001 movies you must see before you die. But when you do die, the cause of death may very well be in the hands of witches and devils. What do you lot think of Hexan? Does it deserve to stand on the pedestal of the silent horror greats? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts and feelings. I've been Connor from Unleash the Ghouls, and remember, hold on to your broomstick.